And now we're going to derive the standard form of a, of a hyperbola. And the key here is to remember that we have the two foci and the distance from a given point to the first focus minus the distance from that same point to the other focus is going to be some fixed distance that we'll call 2a. Well, this means that our distance of one minus the distance of the other is equal to plus or minus 2a or the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared that should be a plus for that one minus the square root of x minus c squared plus y squared equals plus or minus 2a. Well this works similar to what we had before and so what it ends up giving us, and so I refer you to the derivation of an ellipse, but when you do the same work, you end up with this equation, c squared minus a squared times x squared minus a squared y squared equals a squared times c squared minus a squared. And again, we're going to let b squared equal c squared minus a squared. So this becomes b squared x squared minus a squared y squared equals a squared b squared for all of the same reasons it did before. Divide everything by a squared b squared. And we get x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And so there's our standard form. So it's the derivation is very similar, but this sign makes the difference between this being positive in an ellipse and negative for a hyperbola.